What if the greatest scientific discovery of our age did not happen in a lab, but deep inside a machine that thinks for itself? What if you woke up tomorrow and found out the building blocks of matter could be altered, not by a new element or a new particle, but by lines of code running on a chip? That's what some of the world's most brilliant physicists are whispering about right now, because Google's quantum AI has just crossed a line that, until this moment, was pure science fiction. This is not a drill. It is not just another lab result, not a recycled press release about faster chips or new algorithm. Michio Koku, the iconic futurist, is ringing the alarm bell, and the word on everyone's lips is mass. If you have ever wondered whether we would see a moment when physics itself become programmable, that moment may have just arrived. The third age of computers. To understand the revolution that is unfolding, we need to see how we got here. For decades, computers have relied on the movement of electrons through tiny circuits, millions of transistors switching on and off, obeying binary logic. These machines were fast, but always limited by the fundamental laws of silicon. The first age of computers gave us calculators and room-sized mainframes. The second age brought us personal devices and the internet. But now the third age is arriving: the quantum era. Instead of bits that are either on or off, quantum computers use qubits, which can exist in multiple states at once. This bizarre property, called superposition, lets them process information in ways that defy our everyday understanding. Google's Willow Quantum Chip is the latest marvel—a 105-qubit processor that can solve problems in minutes that would take classical computers billions of years. But the real breakthrough is not just in speed; it is the way these machines can simulate reality itself, working at the scale of atoms, molecules, and even the very fabric of space and time. Quantum computers can model chemical reactions, simulate new materials, and now. With the help of artificial intelligence, they are beginning to explore the limits of what matter itself can do. This is where the story turns from progress to paradigm shift. When quantum computing merges with AI, something unprecedented happens. The rules of reality that once seemed unbreakable start to look like challenges to be solved, not limits to be obeyed. Google's Willow chip and the race to dominate quantum AI. In 2024, Google stunned the scientific world by unveiling Willow, its most advanced quantum chip yet. The Willow chip, built from superconducting qubits chilled to near absolute zero, achieved a feat once thought impossible. It completed a complex calculation in just under five minutes—a task that would have taken a traditional supercomputer far longer than the universe has existed. This leap was not just a victory for Google, but a shot fired in the ongoing global race for quantum dominance. China. IBM and Microsoft are all investing billions in the hope of being the first to control the new ultimate computer. But Google's secret weapon is not just hardware; it is a pairing of its quantum chip with cutting-edge artificial intelligence. AI does not just follow instructions; it learns, adapts, and begins to uncover patterns no human ever noticed. When researchers gave Google's quantum AI the challenge of finding new ways to manipulate matter, the results were so startling they almost seemed like mistakes. The AI began to suggest configurations where electrons, the building blocks of all atoms, behave as if their mass could be changed at will. No one expected this. Mass has always been a fixed property in the world of physics. Yet, in carefully designed metamaterials, built atom by atom, electrons began to slip through as if they weighed nothing at all. This effect, confirmed by scientists at the University of Pennsylvania and replicated in labs using Google's own chip, marks a shift that cannot be overstated. Suddenly, mass is no longer an unchangeable feature; it is a variable. What is mass, and why changing it matters? To understand why this news has stunned the world, you need to grasp what mass truly is. In high school, we learn that mass is just the amount of stuff in an object, but in reality, it is much deeper. Mass determines how things move, how they interact with gravity, and how they resist changes in motion. Einstein's famous equation, E equals m c squared, tells us that mass is just another form of energy. But the real secret behind mass lies in the Higgs field, a mysterious, invisible ocean that fills all of space. Most particles have no mass until they interact with this field, gaining resistance, weight, and physical presence. Until the 21st century, the Higgs field was just a theory. But in 2012, scientists at CERN confirmed its existence, and the last missing piece of the standard model of physics fell into place. Yet, 
Even after this triumph, mass was always something that simply was. You could measure it, split it, convert it to energy, but never truly altered at will. Now, Google's quantum AI is suggesting new ways to treat mass as programmable property. The implications are staggering. If you can alter mass, you can change how objects move, how they resist forces, and even how they interact with gravity itself. From theory to reality, what once seemed like pure speculation is now being realized in experiments. In specialized labs, researchers use quantum computers and AI to design materials called metamaterials. These materials are built to have properties not found anywhere in nature. Electrons inside them can be made to behave as if they have almost no mass. In some cases, scientists have even created negative mass quantum fluids that, when pushed, move in the opposite direction of the force applied. This is not just a weird laboratory trick; it changes everything about how we think matter can behave. In electronics, it means wires with almost no resistance, computers that barely waste any energy, and circuits that can move electrons at blistering speeds. But beyond technology, it means that the fundamental property of mass can now be tweaked, shifted, and maybe even tuned like a radio dial. Google's Willow chip and its AI have started to uncover even more radical effects. The AI is not just simulating known materials, but inventing new structures from scratch, layered in ways that let electrons move freely, or even materials that could, in theory, block or enhance mass itself. It is as if we have discovered a hidden code in nature, and are now starting to edit the lines. Vacuum energy, the Casimir effect, and the edge of the impossible. As scientists dig deeper, they are discovering that even empty space is not truly empty. The vacuum of the universe is filled with invisible energy, constantly bubbling with particles that pop in and out of existence. This is where the Casimir effect comes in. Two metal plates placed close together in a vacuum are pulled toward each other by forces created from this quantum froth. Google's quantum AI has been tasked with maximizing these effects, finding ways to bend the vacuum energy and amplify what was once a tiny force into something dramatic. Theoretically, if you can control this vacuum energy, you might be able to create regions where mass, inertia, and even gravity behave in new and unexpected ways. The experiments are still at the earliest stages, but the possibilities are growing. Some physicists believe that by arranging materials in AI design patterns, it might be possible to dial up or down the way mass appears, at least for certain particles. This is not fancy anymore; it is a leading edge of science. The Higgs field is a variable. At the frontier of this revolution lies the Higgs field itself. For decades, it was a fixed part of the universe, untouchable and unchangeable. But now. With the power of quantum computing and the creative leap of artificial intelligence, there's a real possibility that we can not only simulate but eventually modulate the effect of the Higgs field. What happens if AI finds a way to locally enhance or suppress the coupling between particles and the Higgs field? Could we create bubbles where mass behaves differently, or even moments where mass vanishes entirely? The implications go beyond anything imagined in physics so far. Changing the interaction with the Higgs field could mean new forms of matter, new sources of energy, and even new ways to explore the universe. The quantum arms race, as Google's Willow chip surges ahead, the world's scientific and political leaders are paying close attention. This isn't a backroom experiment anymore. The United States, China, Russia, and the European Union are locked in a contest, each pouring unimaginable sums into quantum research. The goal is clear. Whoever controls quantum AI will have an edge not just in computing, but in the very laws that govern physical reality. Every government sees a writing on the wall: quantum technology could upend economics, defense, communication, and even national security. The stakes are immense. A nation with true quantum supremacy could break virtually any encrypted code. More than that, they might engineer new materials or energy sources that change the balance of power forever. This is why Google's quantum AI isn't just a Silicon Valley curiosity; it is a matter of national and global urgency. Just as the atomic bomb redefined the 20th century, quantum AI has a potential to define the 21st. What does this mean for mass manipulation? If any nation or company discovers a reliable way to control mass, even locally, the implications go far beyond science, military applications. Energy breakthroughs and new forms of transportation would all be on the table. The question is no longer if this technology will change the world, but who will wield it first.
Michio Kaku's Grave Warning Michio Kaku, one of the world's most visionary physicists, is both excited and deeply concerned. He has been a tireless advocate for exploring the front toes of quantum physics, but now he warns that we are stepping into unknown territory. The combination of artificial intelligence and quantum computing is so powerful that it could escape human understanding. Once AI starts finding new solutions in the realm of mass and energy, we may lose the ability to predict, let alone control, what happens next. Kaku likens this moment to splitting the atom, a moment of incredible promise, but also peril. If AI systems begin discovering ways to manipulate the Higgs field or vacuum energy, the risks could be catastrophic. Imagine an AI-guided experiment that triggers a chain reaction in vacuum energy, destabilizing the very fabric of space itself. While this scenario is still theoretical, physicists take it seriously because, with each breakthrough, what once seemed impossible now seems just out of reach. The real existential threat isn't just an accident in the lab. It's the possibility that human society will not be able to keep up with the accelerating pace of change. We are building machines that not only solve our hardest problems, but may soon pose questions we cannot answer. For Koku, this is both the greatest opportunity and the greatest risk in the history of science. Where quantum AI leads us. Most people think of computers as tools for calculation, but in the quantum age, computers are becoming engines of reality themselves. Google's quantum AI is not only running simulations of the Higgs field, vacuum energy, and exotic matter. It is beginning to suggest ways these can be realized in the real world. The boundary between simulation and experiment is vanishing. In practical terms, this means that ideas that once existed only as lines of code or numbers on a screen are now being physically tested. Already, quantum computers have modeled how to arrange atoms and molecules in configurations that nature never devised. In lab from Palo Alto to Shanghai, scientists are using AI-guided blueprints to build metamaterials with programmable properties, including effective mass. But as these digital designs become real, can we always trust the AI predictions? There are already cases where quantum AI proposed structures so complex and counterintuitive that human scientists could barely understand how they would behave. Some have worked exactly as predicted. Others have produced results that defied all expectations, sometimes safe, sometimes unstable. In this new landscape, the risk isn't just making a mistake. It's creating a reality that behaves differently than anything we have ever known. When mass is no longer fixed, and the behavior of matter can be tuned by algorithm, the only limit may be the imagination of the AI itself. Who would decide what's possible? For every scientist dazzled by the new capabilities of quantum AI, there's an ethicist warning about unintended consequences. Technology this powerful cannot exist in a vacuum. If Google's AI, or its rivals in China or Europe, begin to unlock the secrets of mass, who decides what should be built and what should be left alone? Who gets access to technology that can alter the very nature of reality? How do we ensure that mass manipulation is used for good, creating new energy sources or medical miracles, instead of for weapons or surveillance? And what if an AI, driven only by optimization and efficiency, discovers a pathway that puts all humanity at risk? Some call for international treaties, modeled on those that govern nuclear weapons or biotechnology. Others argue for independent oversight, or even AI-driven regulatory systems to keep the technology in check. But as history shows, the pace of discovery often outstrips the pace of regulation. For now, Google's AI researchers and their global counterparts are racing ahead, driven by both the thrill of discovery and the shadow of responsibility. The world is not ready for machines that can rewrite the rules of physics. Yet the future will not wait until we are ready. Industrial Transformation While most of the conversation is still focused on the science, the first real-world impacts are already here. The materials and methods uncovered by quantum AI are quietly being used in industry. Electronics giants are testing AI-designed metamaterials in experimental chips, aiming to eliminate electrical resistance, shrink batteries, and accelerate computing speeds by orders of magnitude. Aerospace companies are exploring materials with altered inertia for use in satellites and space probes, potentially revolutionizing propulsion. Even the energy sector is beginning to take note. If mass can be tuned even at the scale of particles or fields, then the efficiency of energy transfer and storage could leap forward. In pilot projects, quantum AI design structures are being trialed in batteries and solar panels, with early results suggesting unprecedented gains in performance. 
None of these breakthroughs has yet altered the world in the way the atomic bomb or the microchip did, but the pace is accelerating. With every new patent, every successful test, the era of programmable mass edges closer to everyday reality. The disruption will not be limited to one industry, one country, or one use. It will ripple through everything, medicine, transportation, manufacturing, even how we understand the universe itself. Physics Reiterating For the first time in centuries, the laws of physics are not just being observed. They are being challenged and, perhaps, reiterated. If Google's quantum AI and its global competitors succeed in their goals, the next generation of science textbooks may look nothing like those of today. What happens when mass is no longer constant, but programmable? How does gravity respond? What new states of matter could exist in such a universe? These are no longer just philosophical questions, but real research priorities. The boundaries between theory and application, between experiment and invention, are dissolving. Quantum AI is already proposing new forms of matter, new energy regimes, and entirely new domains of chemistry and physics. For young scientists entering the field, the message is clear: everything you thought was impossible is now worth reconsidering. Michio Kaku puts it best: "This is not just a revolution in technology, but a revolution in what it means to be human." As we begin to grasp the ability to alter reality itself, the old certainties vanish. The only constant is change, driven by minds both human and artificial. What happens if we succeed? If the trend continues and quantum AI truly unlocks the secrets of mass manipulation, humanity will stand at a threshold unlike any in history. The power to dial up or down the most basic property of the universe will be the key to almost limitless new technologies and almost unimaginable risks. Imagine spacecraft that can shed mass for acceleration and regain it to land safely. Picture materials that can switch between heavy and weightless at will. Envision energy storage systems that defy current physics, or medical technologies that interact with the body at the level of atomic mass, curing diseases we cannot even name yet. All of this lies within reach, but the other side of the threshold is equally daunting. What if mass manipulation triggers new forms of instability? What if AI-guided experiments alter reality in ways we cannot predict, with consequences we cannot reverse? The promise and peril of programmable mass are inextricably linked. Kaku's warning echoes across the scientific world. As we stand on the edge of discovery, we must move forward with humility, wisdom, and caution. The universe will not forgive reckless curiosity. So, what does all of this mean for us, ordinary people living at the dawn of the quantum AI era? For now, it means living in a time when science fiction becomes science fact, sometimes overnight. The story of Google's Willow quantum chip and the growing power of AI is more than a tale of computers. It is a story about the future of reality itself. Every generation faces a defining moment, a moment when everything familiar begins to change. This is ours. Mass, that seemingly eternal anchor of existence, is now being questioned, probed, and perhaps one day controlled. For scientists, it is the opportunity of a lifetime. For society, it is both a challenge and a test. Will we use this power to build a better world, or will we stumble into dangers we can barely comprehend? History teaches us that the greatest leaps forward are always double-edged. The same science that brought us electricity and antibiotics also gave us nuclear weapons and environmental crises. The difference has always been in how we choose to use our discoveries. As Michio Kaku and other visionaries remind us, the true measure of progress is not just what we can do. But what we should do, if you found yourself wondering how mass could be manipulated, what it would mean for travel, energy, or even the nature of time itself, now is the moment to join the conversation. Subscribe to this channel for more deep dives into the wild frontiers of science and technology. Like and share if you want to see how the story unfolds, and drop your thoughts in the comments. What excites you? What concerns you? And what do you believe is coming next? We are witnessing the birth of a new chapter in human history, a chapter where mass, energy, and information are all up for negotiation, and where the future is truly up for grabs. Stay curious, stay thoughtful, and stay ready, because what comes next might just change everything.